So I flew the drone uh, two days ago. I wanted to give her some time before I actually came out in the pasture, but I got some great drone footage. Again, I just missed it. Hey guys, Dusty Becker, Customers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. So one of the easiest things, uh, when I need to check the bison, especially when uh, I've got some red dogs do, the easiest thing for me to do, safest and quickest, is to uh, fly up the drone. So I just flew up the drone and I got it back and um, I saw something very exciting. A lot of anticipation and um, <laughs> a lot of patience wondering what is gonna happen um, and when. And uh, um, we gotta go down the pasture and I'll show you. Let's go. All right, so we're down here in the pasture and uh, they're hanging out underneath the pecan trees. Big Joe is over here doing his thing. Right over here is a red dog. This is our oldest red dog, the first one born on the Ponderosa. But right over here laying down, right in the road basically, there is the 32 cow. And if you've been watching, been anticipating this for a long time, the 32 cow has had her baby. And uh, there she is, kind of going and checking on her, loving it. It is a little bull calf. Uh, I got a lot of great drone footage um, with her and her baby. I surely thought that she was going to have twins. As big as she was, she must just be a big cow in general. She is just fully packed cow. I mean, she is she's heavy, heavy, heavy cow. My wife and I kept looking at each other like, golly, what is she going to have? It's got to be either a, B, a big calf or, two, or a set of twins. And sure enough, um, it's, well, it's not twins, but that's okay. We've got a healthy little bull calf. But when I flew the drone, I got some really good footage for you. And uh, I'm going to share that with you. So I flew the drone uh, two days ago. And um, I wanted to give her some time before I actually came out in the pasture. And so here I am today. Again, I just missed it. Uh, actually, I just missed uh, the birth of this uh, bull calf with the 32 cow. And, uh, but here, take a look at this footage and, and some more footage of the afterbirth. And um, once again, I was so close, I just missed it. Take a look right here.
just fun sitting here watching um, this right here. She's uh, that 32 cow is being super sweet. She's just been licking on her baby and giving him lots of loving and stuff, and just being a good mama. And uh, it's I've been sitting here for 10 or 15 minutes just watching this. And just a cool moment. Uh, it's just nice. We have two now, two calves at the Ponderosa. Could possibly have one more. I think. Who knows? I say that because you guys remember these are the, these four cows that are in here with Big Joe are part of the Texas 16. There was a bull with them, so I don't know. Like um, they should have been like obviously uh, she had hers a little late, so she cycled a little late last summer. Um, and so I don't know if these other cows, um, these Texas cows, um, cycled as well. So it's just something, uh, you know, they were not in my hands at, uh, last year at this point. And so um, we've got them now, and we've already got two red dogs, which is, which is awesome. Um, so the fact that uh, when I purchased some of these bison, um, these mamas were pregnant. So that's a, that's a good deal. And um, it worked out for us in that point. And maybe we can get one more. Um, the three out of the four would be good. But I think there's one of these cows, uh, the 11 cow, right over here. I don't think she's pregnant. But anyways, no big deal. So um, I'm going to ease out of here and uh, go check the big fella. He's hanging out by the water. Uh, big Joe has been spending a lot of time by the water. I've got my trail cam set up. So I should have lots of good trail cam videos of the big guy over here um, hanging out in the water so the other day it scared me I was driving the skid steer over and um, I saw a body laying there and I took I don't know, three or four takes and I was like what in the world is going on and I literally stopped I screamed at him yelled at him honked the horn on the skid steer and then I jumped the fence and I ran across here and he was the only one out here the rest of the herd was somewhere else and uh, I jumped over there and I was like, what in the world? And I finally got up close to him. I say close. I was about 20 yards from him. He rose his head up, and there he popped up. So take a look right here. Dude, Big Joe's sitting here laying sideways. It looked like he was dead. <sighs> Ran over here, and he got up. <sighs> I don't blame you, buddy. Sorry. Scared me. I scared you. That's where he was laying. <sighs> I'd be worried, big guy. You didn't answer me when I called you. All right. Glad you got in some mud. Well, I'm gonna hang out in here. I just gave uh, the entire herd some cubes. You've got Big Joe. He has been uh, escorting. He's been following around the uh, no tag cow here. And I thought this is the third one that may be pregnant, but she may be actually coming in heat. And uh, he's been kind of following her around. So that's a sign that she is coming in heat, which is a good thing, even though we wish we had a, we're gonna have a calf, but that's okay. It, uh, it's all right that she uh, she may not have a calf, but if she's coming in heat, that's a good sign. So, anyways, he's doing good. The 32 cow with her new bull calf came over here as well, gave him some cubes. They got separated from the herd, gave him a little space. So, another exciting time to always have uh, another red dog. And so that means we have a total of five red dogs. We still have three uh, with the Dunbar herd, and we got two here. And uh, should be expecting some more, but we don't know. Um, we didn't get them pred checked this year. Uh, I wish we would have, um, but we need to get, get them pred checked in the fall. 
and this year we'll do that just to make sure um, that they are pregnant and so we'll do that this fall um, hopefully when we work the bison so anyways something I just want to point out is uh, when I'm talking about the uh, Texas cows is they look so much different it's amazing what grass can do and uh, the 32 cow was already a decent size but needed some weight gain um, no tag and then we have 54 who had the first uh, baby at the Ponderosa and then we have another one um, number 11 with that being said when they came in they some of them didn't look very good out of those cows but um, it's amazing what grass can do and since they've been out on grass and we've we've built new uh, fencing and got them out here they've gained a lot of weight and they look healthy and they look full they look what an, another word I like to use is fleshy they look good and uh, that's a that's a feel-good moment and it's just a reminder uh, that keep working doing what you're supposed to be doing get these guys on grass take care of the land manage the land and keep growing and that's what we're doing and uh, I think we're doing it the right way I hope I hope we are not saying we're not gonna ever have any bumps in the roads and obviously I, I wish we knew that all of our cows were pregnant and um, as that goes on we'll get better and better with it and we can get a little more precise and uh, now that I got these Texas cows and I've got them in our system hopefully next year we'll be four for four and um, so that's kind of uh, my outlook on all this and uh, maybe you guys understand a little bit more about it and uh, you get them healthy and you get them in a good healthy situation where they can breed which is coming on right now uh, June and July August is breeding season for us down here and so really at the beginning of July so obviously I think she's maybe cycling which is why he's following her around uh, he's been doing that a lot lately just following the um, no tag cow around and uh, she's looks so much better so um, just a, a good feel moment to uh, know that uh, these cows have gained a bunch of weight since I got them here um, since last year since last October I think um, so also got some exciting stuff is uh, we've been working on the office and I got a lot of work done and I want to share that with you so I'm gonna head back up to the barn and show you all the work we've been doing and uh, me and Russell a good neighbor friend um, have been working on so let's go take a look also uh, there's something I forgot to mention stay tuned we've got a big t-shirt sale coming stay tuned for that July 4th time frame we'll keep you updated but got a big shirt sale going on for you guys so you can always check that out we have hundred percent bison snack sticks still available you can all check it out at our website and merchandise um, they're at our website at crosstimbersbison.com. You guys check this out right here. This is awesome. Take a look right there. Freshly, freshly installed window, 30 by 60 window. And then right here, kind of my favorite, is right here on the west side of the barn, looking out into the pasture. You can see the critters from right here. So. There you go right there, two windows installed, 30 by 60 windows on this office. And inside, we still got a lot of work to do on the, on the interior and all that stuff. That'll be fun. Just little steps at a time is what I'm doing here and there to try to get this finished. And then we'll put some AC in it and we'll get this thing going. But very excited to have those. And now that we have this finished, we can do some interior work, get it spray foamed and detail, get it all wrapped up. And, I'm going to bring you along on that, so hope you guys enjoy it. Hey, thank you guys for being a part of this. Hope you enjoyed seeing the new red dog. We'll keep an eye on him because it is so hot. Uh, we have to keep an eye on that red dog. All the animals, really. It's nice that we have ponds here at the Ponderosa, and that helps a ton because they can cool off um, whenever they need to and whenever it gets hot. And so we'll keep an eye on the new uh, little red dog from the 32 cow. Glad she finally had him and uh, was hoping for twins. That would have been fun, but nope, that's okay. We got a healthy little bull, and that's all that matters. So, hey, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.